You see, we've all been lost at some point in our lives. No ambition, you feel unmotivated, nothing is really exciting to you. You just feel so lost, you don't really have much clarity, you might feel a little bit fogged up in the head, and you really just wanna figure out like, okay, what's next for me? Because there's so many opportunities in this world, how do you know which route to go down? And so, during my journey, I was in so many periods of, okay, getting lost, uh, redirecting my path, getting lost, redirecting my path, and going, jumping from here, there, 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 right? But I used to wait for this big revelation, this big, grand, this big mission to go on. I used to be wait. I used to wait for someone to tell me what to do, right? All of us do that. We always get so easy for to do something that someone else tells you to do. Just like in this video, right? I'm not gonna tell you what path to go down, but I am gonna give you the steps that you can take to see which route that you should go down. And then from there, it's up for you to decide which path that you wanna take inside the game of life. People say that they are lost, but always run away from the solution to the problem of being lost, which is solving the problems in their life. So what does that really mean, solving the problems in our life? Instead of looking at problems as a bad thing, we're trying to escape from the problems, that's where we go towards. That's the direction that we need to take is going towards the problems to then get solved. But I bet in all of our lives, we have so many different problems that we can't solve all of them. We have to pick, we have to pick and pinpoint which ones that we wanna solve in this moment right now that is most meaningful. So in this video, what we're gonna do is reframe problems as quests to go on. Problems are simply notifications inside the game of life that you need to go towards to solve that problem. Let's imagine this, right? If we reframed problems as quests, it's like opening up uh, the quest board, opening up the, the map of the game and then pinpointing which uh, quest to take, or which quest to go on inside the map. That's exactly what we are gonna be doing in these three simple steps. So, so the first step that we are gonna get into is becoming aware of the problems in your life. You might be lost, you might have no ambition, you might be unmotivated, but why? What is the actual problem here? Because that being unmotivated isn't a problem, it's a symptom of the actual problem, which is what? You don't have direction, what? You don't have clarity, what? You don't have something that's meaningful that you're striving towards. And therefore, the, the symptom of that problem is un, like not being motivated, it's feeling lost, it's not really being excited with your, with your work, et cetera. That, those are the symptoms. So let's think about it like this. The problems, if we don't solve the problems, if we don't go on the right quest, what will happen is we'll get notifications and those notifications are the symptoms of unmotivation, um, feeling lost, feel, like all these feelings and emotions, they rise up when we are not solving the problems. So it's like the whole saying of, it's like the whole thing of the reason that you're depressed probably and the reason that you're not motivated is because you're not challenging yourself. You're not solving things. You're not doing anything. So like I said before, there might be so many problems in our life that we want to fix, but obviously we can't solve all of them at once. There might be, okay, you want a girlfriend. Okay, you don't feel loved. Or okay, you, you don't have much confidence. Okay, you want to get a jacked body. You want to make money. You want to start a business. You want to study. You want to read this, read that. You want to watch this show. You want to do all these things, but we need to really filter out which ones are actually meaningful to us and which ones that will actually give us the bank, like a good, a good ROI, return on investment. What are the things that are most meaningful that can move us forward in life? Most likely, the ones that will move us forward will be like something that has to do with career, something that has to do with either money, relationships, or health, something along those lines. So a quest I'm gonna give you right now is to get out a piece of paper and start writing down the problems in your life right now. The, and then when we look at this, what I want you to do is look at the pain that you're feeling. Where is the pain in your life mostly come from? Is it pressure from your parents? Is it the fact that you're not motivated? Is it the fact that you're not keeping up with your good habits? Is it the fact that you're doing bad habits? Is it the fact that maybe you're guilty, you feel guilty from um, maybe watching something or maybe enjoying yourself a little bit? Or maybe, it, it could be endless possibilities, right? So write down the most, the biggest pains in your life and these pains are the problems. Once you have this piece of paper out, these are now the quests that you need to go out and solve. But before we even go out and solve them, the next. The next step in this is to figure out what is the solved version of this problem. You look at that piece of paper and you ask, okay, if this quest was solved, what does my life look like? What would it look like if this quest that I went on was solved and I completed it? 
What would it look like? This could mean, okay, now you're motivated, you know what to do, you're not lost anymore, you, ha you are jacked, you have that girl, you have these things in your life. So I want you to really get a good visualization of what it would look like if that quest was solved. Because this will give you direction. Because if once you have the point A, you know what the problem is, and then point B, which is the solution, the next step after that is to get in between. But let's keep focusing on step two, which is understanding the solved version of that problem. We could call this the dream state. We can call this the outcome. So what I want you to do is when you get this piece of paper out, once you have the problems listed down on the other side of the paper, I don't know how you written it down, but I would do the problems on the one side and then put a line down and then on the other side, write down what the dream state or what would the the outcome that you want that you want it to turn out to be look like what is the completed quest of that problem look like and write down the other side of the piece of paper across from the problem that you have and then step three which is where you come in is the how do we solve this problem how do we get from point a to point b now we have a point a we have a point b now it's the in between some people don't even make it past point a they stay in point a they don't want to figure out point b they don't want to move forward right so we've now we've gotten point a point b now it's the in between now it's the actual quest what are the steps i take now to go towards that and then solving problems in your life whether big or small give you experience that you gain experience by solving problems for yourself solving problems from other people etc when it comes to bigger quests and bigger problems in your life what you need to do is take a bigger action you need to take more sacrifice before the little problems the problems that are kind of easy to solve those calls for easy action easy things that easy things that you can sacrifice so what i would do if you're just starting out is to work your way up little by little solve the easy problems okay your room's dirty go and clean your room boom you just gain experience from that that's a problem that you just solved okay maybe you're not really that organized okay organize your work organize your schedule gain some structure in your life solving these problems grants you real life experience the more problems you solve the better the more problems you solve the more mature you get the more level up the more status that you'd get inside the game of life not status as in wealth but status as in your um your ability to solve problems so now you have this list you have this list of quests to go on now you have the solution as well all it is is just solving them one by one but you have this big list right you might have a bunch of them what you need to do is not get so overwhelmed with okay how do i how am i gonna do all of them no, no just start with one just start with one of those problems one of those quests and just do that like i said work your way up and start slowly because the compound effect will kick in you'll work your way up because if you go out you if you go out on this big quest to go on already you won't achieve it because you need to work yourself up you need to level up first before you even solve these bigger quests and bigger quests might take more time for example if you want to if you're going from a person who's weak skinny like i did i i was weak and skinny i was frail i had terrible body dysmorphia if i really want to get jacked i want to get bigger i want to get bulkier that that quest takes years it takes years to go from a skinny like you're really you're sculpting you're putting clay on a sculpt on a on a structure and sculpting it it takes time to do that so the bigger quests take more time, bigger action, and more sacrifice. So keep that in mind. If you wanna build a business, if you wanna make some money, that calls for what? More action, more sacrifice, more time. So really keep that in mind. Stop, get out of this mindset of the instant. Okay, if I just do this, like everything will be fine. Like no, this takes time, it takes practice, it takes repetitions every single day showing up to the quest and slowly completing it. The quest wouldn't even be valuable if it if it was instant. It wouldn't be as valuable as if you took a couple months to solve this one problem. It would be way more valuable. The more time it took, the more action you took, the more sacrifice you take, the bigger the reward is for solving that quest, solving that problem. So I really hope this video has helped you. You have a list of quests to go on. I hope that you take action right after this video and I hope this video has helped you. And with that, my friend, continue your journey and keep moving forward.